Hello Youtubers, Wild Gunner here, doing a video commentary on corrosive ammo and what effects it can have on your weapon if left uncleaned. Uh, this is a bit of a... this isn't something recent, but I just fired my Arsenal SGL-31, just finished cleaning it, and figured this would be a good time to get to this topic. There's a lot of people who are very, uh have very strong opinions about corrosive ammunition and what kind of damage it can do to your weapon and uh, I have a pretty decent example of about as bad as things can get because I uh, shot this, this was several years ago with corrosive ammunition, I forgot to clean it then I deployed to Afghanistan and I didn't come back I got came back on leave nine months later and then did weapons maintenance on it but it basically went nine months a little over nine months without being uh, cleaned with after firing corrosive ammunition and it looked pretty bad to be honest right when I because uh, the bolt didn't want to slide back because it had, uh, there was some corrosion inside the uh, gas block and uh, there was a little bit of corrosion on this and they kind of stuck together but uh, once I you know knocked it loose and uh, scraped all the crud and disgustingness off it there was actually very little lasting damage, harm to the weapon itself and all stuck from the back worked my way up uh, the bolt was fine all the internal components back here were, you know, trigger assembly and everything were just fine, completely unaffected. The bolt carrier was fine up till about here. And here you can see where the uh, cross of ammo actually ate through the uh, finish and had a little bit of orange, you know, rust on there but scraped it off and everything. Still functions flawlessly. The gas piston itself, while it was Cr you know, cruddy as heck. Once I scraped everything off it, it was a uh, essentially spotless. With the only uh, damage I noticed was right here. There is actually a uh, see if I can. Yeah, whatever. Oop, zoomed in too far. There's this little, uh, there's a pit right here where it ate through the chrome lining of the, uh, gas piston. But still functions perfectly well, and other than that, it's all good. The gas tube, once again, disgusting, but once I scraped everything out, it was fine. Same with the gas block. The barrel is also chrome lined, and it doesn't have any pits in it, as far as I can tell, anyways. Uh, the only thing that's inconvenienced me in any way of any of the damage done was to the muzzle brake and not so much damaging it but it rusted around the screws and this is essentially uh, permanently attached now. I have not been able to get this off for two years and I have tried all kinds of stuff, tried soaking it in solvent, tried putting this in a vise and taking vice grips and cranking the heck out of it and try to break it loose nothing has gotten this off that being said it still works uh, perfectly well as a muzzle brake I just can't uh, get it off now worth noting is this is an American made replica of a Soviet AK-74 muzzle brake an actual Soviet whether it be Bulgarian, Russian, East German, etc., would be chrome lined on the inside, just like the barrel, inside of the barrel, and just like the gas piston, for that very reason, to protect it from the corrosive effects of ammunition. However, the Arsenal, Arsenal USA, if you find a Bulgarian made one with an Arsenal stamp on it, then it's actually made in. Arsenal number 10 in Bulgaria and it will be chrome lined. The American made ones, while equally as effective as a 
muzzle brake and uh, compensator are not chrome lined and it just rusted the heck out of the inside or so I assume because I can't see inside it <laughs> very well anyways and uh, haven't been able to get it off which once again if I had a uh, original style muzzle brake then that wouldn't be a problem though also I'm not sure if I would have enough American made parts for this whole uh, get up to be legal anyways if I took it off so you know just as well I guess but, and that was nine months of going without cleaning. And that's uh, not bad. I mean, it's certainly not good. And I, you know, I'm sure as hell not doing that again. You know, you know, learn from your mistakes and whatnot. But I have heard people who make cross of ammo sound like it's going to make your weapon self destruct. If you have your weapon break in some way and you blame it on the corrosive ammunition I would suggest that there was something probably wrong with the weapon before the corrosive ammunition because funny thing about corrosive ammunition is up until the 60s really and in every military in the world used corrosive ammunition a lot of them still do the Russians still issue corrosive ammunition and to us Americans who think well why would they do that because they make non-corrosive ammo as you know the wolf ammo and the brown wool the brown bear and all that all non-corrosive well the Russians stuck with it because they believe the corrosive ammunition basically keeps better over a long period of time that it uh, if put in long-term storage it is more resistant to the effects of you know time and environment which they put in those big spam cans so I don't even know why that'd be a deal, uh, problem to begin with but whatever because it's not bad as I mentioned all the parts that are regularly exposed normally this would be are specifically hardened against it back in World War II America used corrosive ammunition up until Vietnam America used corrosive ammunition there's still plenty of perfectly functioning M1 used M1 Garands from World War II, and they've been shooting corrosive ammo since, well, you know, World War freaking II. So, it's not, you know, now I'm just kind of rambling on, but corrosive ammunition is perfectly good. It works just as well as non-corrosive ammunition for purposes of actually shooting bullets at targets, and basically as long as you clean it within an expedient period of time I've heard some people say that oh you have to pour water down the barrel you know immediately after you shoot it you know clean it out you know I did it three hours after I got back from the range and that's completely fine you know I wouldn't leave it there longer than a day to be honest but even that is just mostly my own personal preference as I said, nine months sitting, and it stripped the bluing pit and stuck the muzzle brake. And that's, as I said, you know, if you leave your weapon unclean for nine months, then uh, you probably ought to uh, reevaluate the, <laughs> the amount of care you are giving your firearms, and you're just begging for something to go wrong at some point. But, uh, alrighty, I'll. I'm wrapping up my uh, little rant, and uh, I hope this has been useful to anyone who was thinking about using corrosive ammunition. Have a nice day.